Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Scorpio. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of September 2020. Now in regards to your finances uh, with the element of Earth, you have the Hermit card. So the Hermit card could represent feeling a little bit reclusive, feeling very... Um, I don't want to say alone, but feeling a bit disconnected from the world. It could be that you're working very hard or putting a lot of work and effort and you've kind of isolated or you're feeling like uh, isolation is your safe haven right now. Uh, it could be, uh, it could have a lot to do with like being extremely, um, being extremely I don't want to use the word tired, but they're telling me almost like your energy is not as high as it would naturally or normally be. Um, and it could be, again, like I said, it could be because uh, there is a lot of things that are going on in regards to your finances or your career. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be seeking or trying to find new ways to make more money. Um, for others of you, it could be internalizing, going within trying to understand what are the blockages or how you view abundance. Um, but more than anything, I feel like I'm hearing a lot of people in the background. So it could just represent that you're just feeling uh, like disconnected from even your family members or those that live with you, uh, feeling a little bit disconnected. And it could be because it is overwhelming or you may be experiencing a lot of a lot of chaotic type of energy around work or around your uh, finances so again my advice to you guys is ground yourself for this month of september uh, if possible go to a lake go to the beach uh, go to a creek somewhere or you know even in your shower um, as long as you have some type of running water i would encourage you guys to uh, you know ask spirit to guide you and to cleanse you and to remove any you know confused energy or any blockages that you may be experiencing right now at the present time on a mental level now in regards to your communication for the month of september you have the queen of wands so for some of you guys dealing with fire energy it could be a leo aries or sagittarius um and with the queen of wands it's very opposite to that of the hermit the queen of wands is an energy that is very social. It's an energy that really uh, flourishes around, you know, being social, being very proactive. It, with communication, you may be communicating with someone for this month of September that could be that of a fire energy, or it could be you going to someone um, for some advice, some type of guidance um, in regards to what you're going through at the present time. Um, this person can also serve you as a way to understand your emotions. Um, it, I'm feeling it more like a, a person that is very trustworthy or a person that you trust very highly. Uh, it could be a relative, could be uh, someone that you admire. And it, this could be you going to them to get some type of advice in regards to, again, your finances. Now, in regards to the challenge for this month, you have the Queen of Cups. So this is your energy right here, Scorpio. Um, so what they're telling you is sometimes we get in our own way. And what I mean by that, it could be either through fears. It could be through, um, as an example, for those of you guys that have been having a bit of a struggle in regards to finances, it could be that the fear is kicking in. Make sure not to make decisions out of fear or feeling like it's now or never. Um, because when the Queen of Cups shows up in the, uh, in the challenge position, what they're telling you is you need to make decisions not based off of emotion, but make decisions that are coming from a very clear head, a very clear thought. Um, and, you know, with the Queen of Cups, sometimes you can be extremely emotional and make decisions off of that, as well as you could become a bit confrontational when you're feeling stressed or when you're feeling like 
people are not understanding and there's a lot of heavy burdens that you're currently dealing with. So what they're telling you is keep your emotions on check for this month of September. I feel that for some of you guys, uh, even those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, you could be having trouble communicating or expressing what you're feeling. So you kind of lash out, whether it be through arguments, whether it be through very low you know, patience. And what Spirit is telling you here is, again, try to control your emotions. Yes, you do have a lot of responsibilities and you have a lot of things going on. But at the same time, again, don't let the frustration or the fear of not being able to handle those things overwhelm you, Scorpio. Now, in regards to love and romance, you have here the star card. So the star card, um, again, I, I see for those of you guys that are in a committed relationship, I see like, you know, your partner's trying to be very understanding, very nurturing, very loving. Um, and, and I think it could be because they very well understand your nature. But again, with the star card, this is symbolizing a renewal. So it could be a renewal. It could be a challenge that you guys are currently going through, but it doesn't mean you won't be able to overcome it. I think this has more to do with you on an emotional level, uh, Scorpio. Now, the star card could also represent new beginnings for those of you guys that are single. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Now, in regards to spirits advice, yeah, makes perfect sense. Um, with the temperance card here, it's all about balance. Everything in life is balance. If you're overworking a lot, putting a lot of long hours, uh, try to balance that out or try to, um, you know, integrate, you know, family time or spending time with your partner or spending time with yourself, you know, whether it be through meditation, um, finding the balance within yourself, not getting so caught up in what's going on in the outside, but checking in and making sure that you're fine. Oftentimes we suppress what we're feeling. And then when we are going through a lot of stress, it, we kind of, it's easier for us to have very low tolerance and for us to lash out at people or argue with people just because we feel very overwhelmed. So again, with the temperance, be patient with yourself. Um, also understand or know that there's a lot of healing energy that's happening with you, Scorpios. So again, it could be that you're feeling like emotions are coming to surface and you don't understand why. Um, this could be, again, Pluto's energy that is that of transformation. So again, it's, an, it's a way of you to acknowledge what you're feeling or what you've been suppressing in order for the healing to happen. Now you do have here, this is the this is the card that represents all to do with uh, destructive forces, forces beyond your control. Um, and it could be a crisis, uh, it, it feeling emotionally like you're in a crisis, feeling like, again, we go back to that of making irrational decisions. It could be because within you, you're feeling like there is a crisis that you need to make a decision or a quick decision. Uh, because time is of the essence. But what they're telling you here is, again, um, these are energies that you need to acknowledge, feelings that you need to acknowledge, not ignore. Um, and once you acknowledge them or try to understand where they're coming from, you'll be able to understand fully uh, what is it that you've been suppressing throughout the years. And this is a crisis or a feeling of being in a crisis, but with a hidden benefit. So it's a blessing in disguise. So whatever may come out to you guys in the month of September, it is very important if you feel like you're in a situation where something's going on that it's like chaotic, just keep in mind or understand that it's a hidden benefit. It's something that is going to benefit you ultimately, I guess, take it as like a uh, a test, so to speak, uh, to see how well you're able to control your emotions. Uh, it's unexpected change. So again, um, you know, be very methodical in making decisions when it comes to making decisions, I should say, um, and be patient with yourself and make sure to balance yourself for this month of September. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.